Mm, hello, welcome to another remote control review. But this time we're looking at the Rupert Wars Growler. Before I start, excuse these two. They're my little mascots. They're my little calm charmers. Which you could buy on Amazon. They're, they're, they're tiny little plushies. They're cute. And another thing, this arena used to be from a Hegsburg arena and built myself. Let me just remove the thing we're looking at. Here's the whole entire arena. I made the whole entire arena myself. Anyway, that's not what we're talking about. But we are talking about Growler. The, the house robot was added in series 6 of Robot Wars. Along with Mr. Psycho. I used to have the pullback version of that. But now I've got one step further. I've got the remote control version. There's his battery. Well, there's his battery. That's Growler's. And there's his remote, a bit tinier than, tinier than Killer Lots and Shunt. That's the other one. That's for Matilda, Shunt, and Killer Lot. This one is for Tornado, Sergeant Bash, and Growler. This big dude here. Anyway, further ado, it's quite big. As you can tell by the arena, if I bring the Hegs, if I bring in the Hegsburg Matilda, which is the, which was that arena was built for, which, which which this arena was built for, this this arena was built for the Hegsburg's robot wars, and I've got Matilda here, and then and then we have a Dalek, one of my battle Daleks. I this is the first time I've actually t put a Dalek on there, and that will fit nicely. A Dalek will fit there nicely. I haven't tried it yet, so. Anyway, Growler is a remote control. He takes one of these batteries, and I believe it's 6.0 volts for the actual robot. I got him off eBay for a bargain, but without the charger. I had to buy a charger myself. And so I bought Killalot, which I'll explain in his review why I got the char why I've got near enough of everything with Killalot. Anyway, further ado. So I do to take the batteries out. You have to go underneath Growler. You see that compartment there. You just take you just take the compartment out, and then you put the battery in. And of course, I change the screws because I'm going to use another screwdriver if I need it. Right, how you connect them? By this is the first time I've done one of these reviews, by the way. As I'd said in the Hegsburg Matilda video, I don't have a remote for Tildy. I don't have a remote for Tilda. You see that in there? There's a little slot in there. You see that plug there? That goes in there like that. I know you can't be able to see, but you can see my hand. And then it just, and then it just slots in, and then positions under the robot, and then positions under the robot, and then you see the blue under Growler. Every robot is different. Every robot is different. Matilda has two triangles on the back. Shunt has three of similar to Matilda, but they're all straight and they're all going to leave Shunt. I'll talk about Shunt in a minute. He is fuming right now because what, I lost one of his batteries. You don't need to see me do the 9 volt battery right now. Yeah, you get a famous screw shot. And of course, Growler is green for the color coded. And yes, they have an on and off switch on the remote and the UNO. But. The only, the only house robot that doesn't have that is Shunt. Not on the remote, but on the actual unit. There we go. I've just switched the remote on, and I've got to make sure Growler is switched on underneath, which is under his belly, up for a tummy tickle. There we go. Here we go. Now Growler is on. Growler is on, and he does work. I've got him for a tenner off eBay that one. Charge the battery. Oh, there you go, you see movement. Of course his eyes move. Of course his eyes light up. That's to turn it. It's very hard to renew them. And of course his jaw moves. And of course his jaw moves. He's a very fast junior. They only had a pullback version on Mr. Psycho. Yes, you can see the light up feature in his eyes. He's not the only house robot that has a light up feature. We'll come back when we do Sir Killalot's review. 
there we go. There's Growler. The lid is draw up and down. Um, I take my screwdriver. There we go. So let me just turn Growler off just in case he moves all by himself. Well, there is Growler is still available to buy, but you're looking around about 60 or 75 quid. All there with, with the charger and instructions. There will be some without remote, and there will be some with remote, and there will be some without chargers. Just, just search very hard. So search very hard, which I did for Growler. Because I wanted a remote for Matilda. I wanted a remote for the precious Matilda. I've already shown the features off. And now I'm going to take the battery out. You can just you can just shake the figure just to get the battery out. I I always it's always recommended to take the batteries out after use, so they don't link leak. Because I had to change Matilda's slot handles for the batteries for the on the battery, and I had to change one for Matilda. Because the batteries are destroyed. And I'll do, now I'll do another comparison with the big guys. With the other big guys. So I will put Growler on the left. Growler will be on the left. Here is Shunt. Here is Shunt. Here is Shunt. Unfortunately, Shunt gone for another battery. The battery's gone. So there's Shunt. He's still fuming. Yep, I got shunt as well. I got shunt for 40 quid. Unfortunately, his battery doesn't work, but I can still review him, but he would have to have, he would have, to have Matilda's battery inserted until I can find a new replacement battery for shunt. Here's shunt. My dear boy. Let me just take remove, remove Growler's battery and I'll get ready for the killer lock. Uh, now let me just get Matilda, the pretty Matilda, the other Matilda, the other Matilda. She, we, I don't know if this one works. I, I missed an eBay auction the other day. I missed an eBay auction on that, just with the remote. So I missed a, that on, I missed out on Matilda because now I don't know if my Matilda works. If not, we should become a display model. Here's the main man. Killer lot. It is killer lot. He oversized all the house robots. I got him for a bargain. I'll explain that in his review. I'll explain that in his review. It is Sir uh, Killer Lot. I've, I've, yeah, I've got to do some repairs on to Killer Lot actually. I've got to do some repairs on to Killer Lot. I'll explain that in his review. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about Growler. Yes, if you really enjoyed the old series, if you don't like, if you like the new series, what do you think of it? I wasn't keen on Rapid, if I'm honest. So that's, that's my bad opinion. Right. If you like Growler, if you like Growler, if you want Growler, good luck finding one that works. Oh, if you like these little plushies in the background, go in on Amazon and find them. They're quite cute. I had to do some repairs on that one, on the one on the left, I had to do some repairs. So anyway, if you like it, if you want more reviews like this, so some things that never made it to my channel, if if you want things that never made it to my channel, please say and put in the comments below. Junk. Excuse me about that, I had to sort my baryonics out. <laughs> anyway, if you like it, well if you like any of my future videos, so put like, like, subscribe, friendly comments, because I will be deleting offensive comments and no stupid mentions as well. Anyway, I'll see you cuties. Stay safe. And I'll see you lot in another video. Ta-ta.